Hi, I'm Nick. I guess the guy who this presentation is all about. Ooh, that's me, just with a no haircut. In, I think it was like middle of high school, I decided that I want to go away to college. Um, and everybody thought I was crazy. When your son with cerebral palsy tells you he wants to go to college and live away, um, well, you want to do that for him. So we had to figure out how self-direction worked, how to get people into place, and nobody knew, nobody could tell us. They said, well, this is an adventure, we'll learn with you. The, this kind of test flight is not really reassuring to parents. Because of Nicholas really wanting to make sure that he used students as his aides on campus, his decision is just remarkable. I would say that the student aides allow um, kind of more, uh, you're more integrated into the community. When you have like an adult, it could be kind of off-putting to a bunch of teenagers who uh, don't necessarily want uh, adults like standing behind them all the time. They were thinking maybe like four aides. I convinced them to increase that number to seven because you are dealing with college students. They are there and they're different majors and they have their own activities and things like that. But knowing the level of care that he needs, if you can split that through more people, you'll never be left with everyone's busy on that Friday night. We hardly have any issues with coverage. We hardly have any issues with people not taking their shift or things like that. Which a lot of people would think, oh, college students are unreliable or X, Y, and Z. That's not the case. You're able to help others and give someone support, and you're being beneficial to an individual's life. You're not like wasting time. Like like you're doing something that helps another person, which is very uh, fulfilling. By having a variety of different students, uh, Nick has people that have all different interests. They have all different. Um, friend circles on campus, so that's allowed Nick to meet a lot more people. Uh, it's allowed him to be engaged in a lot more activities. So it's like, sure, I might be the person you want to take with you to the Office of Disability Services meeting or to a meeting with your professor, but I'm probably not the person you're going to want to take to the party on Friday night. I'm proud to speak about Nick's GPA. What do you have? A 3.7. Nick has a 3.7 GPA. Um, so he's not just fully expanded his social life, his academic life is thriving as well.